All right, now here we have an Evo 3D. We're going to root this. This uh, Evo 3D was loaned to us by Damon Alpha. So we thank him for that, especially since we've had his phone for two extra days waiting to make this video. And we're going to go ahead and root this phone now. And this phone is uh, reset to stock. And the first thing we want to do is we want to turn uh, debugging mode on. So we can do that now by going to the menu button here and then hitting settings and scrolling to applications. And then we'll go to development and it'll say at the top USB debugging. We want to make sure that the check mark is green so we'll click it. Now it's green. It says do you want to allow debugging? Yes. Hit OK. And we'll go back out to the home screen. Now we'll go over to our computer and we'll plug this in. So you'll see that the computer is now loading the drivers. And we'll just wait a moment and let those load. Now when you plug the phone in, it's going to ask you, do you want it to be in charge mode, disk drive mode, HTC sync, on and on. We want it to be in charge mode, so make sure that's selected. Now there's a couple ways that people have shown videos on how to root these. And one of the most popular is to go to revolutionary ISO. That doesn't work on the vast majority of the Evo 3D, so we're not even going to look at that. That's just a waste of time. So what we're going to do is I've got a I got all my shortcuts here, but you can follow along. I'm going to go to HTC Dev, which is simply htcdev.com and you're going to go to unlock your bootloader. Now for some reason on my old XP computer that I use for this the page formatting is kinda screwy. So it may look slightly different when you get there. But basically we're gonna go to the page we're gonna click the begin unlock bootloader button. Now it's gonna want us to log in. You're going to have to register it just takes a minute, so go ahead and do that. And now we're logged in. So we can go back to Unlock Bootloader. Scroll back down. And begin Unlock. Now it's going to ask us if we're sure we want to continue. We're going to say yes. We're going to uh, click on both of these legal acknowledgments that basically say we know we can blow our phone up and we won't hold you guys liable if we do. So now it's going to take you through a few steps and you can go ahead and read those. Uh, but basically what they want you to do is put your phone in the fast boot. So let's take a look at how to do that. Alright, so we're at the home screen. And what we want to do is shut the phone all the way off. Now, these phones have an interesting feature. Let me just show it to you. If you go back to the menu button and then settings, and now, depending on what uh, firmware version you have, you're going to look f either in applications or in the power icon. In this case, it's in power, and you'll see where it says fast boot, and that's checked. Now, if you have an older firmware version, it'll be in applications and it'll be down at the bottom, fast boot. And the reason I'm showing you that is because what it does is it doesn't shut your phone down all the way. It's like putting your computer in the sleep mode. In order to get into um, F boot mode, we actually have to pull the battery out of this phone. So you pull the back cover off and take the battery out. Then you put the battery back in, put the case back on, hold the volume down button, and then hit power. And after a moment, release the power button. And you'll go into the bootloader. Now at the very top of the menu, it gives you a couple of choices. Fast boot, recovery, factory reset, on and on. Fast boot is already highlighted. 
to select it just hit the power button again and you'll see fast boot up at the top in red and now we're going to go ahead and plug our phone back in the computer so now it found the phone in fast boot mode it's going to load the drivers and install it so that's what we want now we'll click proceed to step five and it's going to tell us we need to download these okay so now it starts talking about creating a folder and all these files that you probably don't know anything about that's fine let me walk you through this in the download here if you open this up you'll see that we've included just about everything you need I think and we have this folder here titled ADB so let's go ahead and just copy that and follow me we'll go over here to my computer and let's put it right on the C drive We'll right click and we'll go on paste there we go ADB is right there now we'll close this now what we want to do is we want to open up a command window I have a shortcut here but you don't so let me show you how to do that click on start and then click on run now I'm running XP on this older computer a lot of the newer computers um, a lot of the newer computers will have this run or search bar right when you hit the start menu and just type CMD in it and enter and it's going to pull this little window up now what we want to do is navigate to the ADB file so no matter where this starts you out at as a default you're going to type in CD and then backslash and hit enter and it's going to take you right to the root of your C drive and now if you DIR, type in DIR you'll see all the files or all the folders and files on your C drive and you can see that ADB is there as well so now we want to change directories so we'll go CD and we want to go to C slash ADB enter now we're in the ADB folder okay so that's what we want there now let's go back to HTC dev and so you see how it's got these little f files in there now if we go to our little C prompt and type DIR you'll see that those same files are in our folder so let's scroll through these we don't need any of this we don't need any of this don't need any of this and we'll proceed to step eight and now it's telling us to type commands great so what we can do is we can just copy this or you can go back into this folder and we have this command right here at the top for you so just grab a hold of that copy it go to your command prompt window you're already in ADB and type paste and then enter and now it's gonna go go to the phone and it's gonna say we need this token key and the phone says okay here it is right here now we have to submit this token key to HTC so that we can get the unlock key now up here in the blue border at the top put your mouse and right click and go down to edit and then click on mark with the left click button and then you want to start see this top line here that says identifier token start you want to start all the way over after the O on info and you just want to drag that down to the arrow on this last line where it says identifier token end and then let go of the left mouse button come back up into the blue border here at the top and right click go down to edit and click on copy with the left mouse button and now we'll minimize that window and we'll go back to HTC dev 
and we did all this now down at the very bottom it says enter token right click and paste and click submit and so now we've sent that token off to HTC now remember when you registered your account you had to enter in an email address you can go ahead and close out of this window now and that email address is where they're going to send the unlock key so I have my email shortcutted we'll just load in here and here in the email we can see the bootloader there okay so you'll see that there is an email attachment here okay so here's the unlock code we're gonna go ahead and download that and we're gonna save it right on the desktop don't change the name and then we're gonna click up here to continue with the unlocking instructions okay now you really don't have to do this but this is what it looks like it's gonna tell you to save this blah 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 run this command and you're gonna get a cute little window okay so you can read that if you want let me show you what we need to do we need to take the unlock code we need to c copy it and go to my computer and then the C drive and the ADB folder is what we're looking for we'll go in there and then we're gonna paste that unlock code in the ADB folder now you can go back to our command lines here and grab the second one and hit copy and now go to our C prompt window and we'll hit paste and enter now if you look at your phone you're going to see an unlock bootloader screen and it's asking are you sure that you want to unlock your bootloader because you can really destroy your phone with an unlocked bootloader you're going to use the volume down to select yes and then you're going to use the power button to confirm and your phone is going to shut off and it's going to reboot back up and your bootloader is unlocked now that's step one that doesn't mean your phone is rooted we're going to go ahead and do that now okay so now once the phone boots up you're going to have to go back through all the setup steps just skipping next to all that stuff and it'll bring us out to the home screen now once we're at the home screen we want to turn US debugging back on so we'll go back to menu settings applications development and we'll hit USB debugging and OK and now let's go ahead and plug our phone back in now when we put the phone back in it's going to ask us do we want what mode we want we want charge mode again so now here we are now you go back into the folder root evo 3d and go into flash recovery because we want to put a custom recovery on the phone and click on the do it and then press enter now the programmer is going to push the custom recovery onto the SD card it's going to reboot your device back into the fast boot mode and then flash the custom recovery to the phone now if you're putting a custom ROM on the phone you'll have wanted to put that ROM on the SD card before you run this program that way you can as soon as this is done we can boot into recovery and you can flash the custom ROM so this is finished and as you can see it's gonna dump you off here in the fast boot menu now down in the menu down below bootloader is highlighted that's what we want so you can click power and it'll go through its little check 
and now you can scroll down to recovery and hit the power button again and it's going to load you into the recovery that we just installed on the phone. Now I did put my custom ROM on the SD card so it's on there. I'm going to go ahead and flash it to this phone. So the first choice is install zip which is what I want to do. With my particular ROM it's not an engineering ROM so you don't have to wipe the cache any of that stuff you can simply install the ROM. So we're going to choose zip to flash so we'll hit power again and there's my ROM right there and I'll hit power. Now this basically loads that ROM into a queue and it'll bring you back to the main menu so if you scroll down one to where it says flash zips now and hit power it's going to flash that custom ROM on the phone. Okay so the ROM's loaded and now it puts us back in our menu and we will go to reboot to system second option from the bottom and hit power and now the phone's going to boot up. And keep in mind it's going to take a little while as it boots the first time after you install a ROM because it's installing all those file partitions, writing all the new files. And so it's going to take a little longer than expected. All right, so now we're loaded back up to the home screen. If you go into the, let's, say, let's scroll down, and you can see Super User is installed. Now, if, if you're using a, my custom ROM, you'll notice a few things. The native Sprint voicemail notification will work on this ROM, as well as the native Sprint hotspot. So that's it. Your Evo 3D should successfully be rooted and ROMed.